the ice cream truck's jingle is a classic sound of summer in the USA. But rampant inflation is melting away profits and threatening to drive this all-American staple off the road. It's just not worth it for me to have a truck out there all day long sitting there hoping and praying to make money. That's basically what it is at this point. Andrew Mashosha, owner of Andy's Italian Ices in New York, has put the brake on his ice cream trucks because of rising costs. Diesel is $7 a gallon in some states. Vanilla ice cream, $13 a gallon. Even the cost of sprinkles has doubled to $60 a box. And then there's sugar. We used to pay $60 a bag for this. This is now at $60. $7 a bag. In Los Angeles, All-American Softy owner Mike Masantri says he's also struggling to keep his fleet of five ice cream trucks running. I was spending about $30,000 a, a year in gas and now I'm up to about sixty dollars or $70,000. Even the North American Ice Cream Association says the ice cream truck unfortunately is becoming a thing of the past. It makes me angry, but what could I do about it? Could I have a bacon, egg and cheese on a roll? Sure. Inflation is also taking a big bite out of breakfast. So here it is, a staple of New York City breakfast, the bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. Look at that. But here's the thing, here at the Roosevelt Gourmet Deli in Manhattan, this cost me $5. A year ago, it was only 4 Bacon is certainly up about 10% in the past year. Eggs are up uh, over 30% in the past year. They go into all kinds of classic dishes. How about Dunkinflation? Dunkin lovers across the nation are complaining on social media about rising prices. My Dunkin has increased prices twice in the past two weeks. They are pricing me out, posted one guy. A medium iced coffee that cost $3.25 in 2020 is now $4.05 in some stores. Prices went up at all the Dunkin Donuts stores? Oh, that's the store all the stores. All right, thank you.